Welcome back to the great world of Tamriel, the Imperial Province. The Elder Scrolls of Oblivion, I'm standing right in front of the White Golden Tower in the Green Emperor Way. It's the central district of the Imperial City. Last time we uh, ventured around the Green, the Emperor Green Way, I think that is called properly. And now it's time for the Inner Circle. And the last time, I might have missed this little Trentius family mausoleum. So I'm also going to venture there, see if I can do something with that at this moment. And of course the inner part, the interior of this tower, well the Elder Council resides, I'm going to check that out as well. So uh, let's go right, I always choose right counterclockwise to do my exploration. Uh, I'm just looking for doors basically. What is the time? 4 p.m. This guard looks different than the other guards. Is this just a captain or...? Remember, trespassing in the Imperial Palace is a serious crime. Do not venture beyond the first and second floors. Alright, so he's a special guard, a palace guard. Assigned to protect the council. He's not a blade, at least. So there was a new topic, a Imperial Please Palace. Show your respect for the Imperial Palace by keeping your voice down. All right, I will do that. Hello, citizen. I hope you're faring well in these difficult times. Pretty armor you have there. Ooh, he has more information, but first, let's ask him about rumors. The Emperor is dead. Come on. <laughs> the same rumor as every other guard, but this might be new. Let's and ask about the uh, Imperial Palace first. This is where the Emperor lives. When there is one, the Council meets on the first floor. The first and second floors are public. All other parts of the palace are strictly off limits. All right, clear. Tell me about the Council. The Elder Council chambers are closed to the public for the duration of the emergency. Aha. All right, thank you for this information. Carry on. Yeah, um, so yeah, the incident, they're re referencing the death of Uriel Septim, of course, and now they're waiting for a new emperor to rise. I might help with that. Oh, just want to look out in Elder Council Chambers. We can go in here and see if that's the only door that's around. And we're near the mausoleum, so, oh yeah, I kind of totally missed that. We found also another crypt. Are you going inside? Vumik. Trentius family mausoleum. It needs a key. If my memory serves me correctly, and that's an active quest that I currently have in my quest log, it is tied to the quest Unfriendly Competition with Agarmir. But I don't really remember. I guess we'll find out not too late. And with that I mean quite soon. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, continue our circle. Let's look for another entrance, if there is one. Up till now, there are none. Massive concrete though, huh? The Aelates build it here. Somebody is standing next to the graveyard instead of in front of it, paying their respects. By this point, I kind of uh, know who these people are. I can recognize them from a distance. That, my friends, is Fathis Yulis. Right? Am I correct or am I wrong? Hi there. Ha. Huh. Yeah, the one who has a, a basement entrance to the sewers. Is this a different entrance? No, it's very much the same, but now there's an additional guard. Elder Scrolls banners hanging up. The sigils also on the front door. All citizens are welcome in yeah. I welcome a friendly face in these dark times. 
How can I be of assistance? With nothing, I guess. I'm just going ahead and go inside. Palace Guard with bow and arrow. Hello, citizen. I hope you're faring well in these difficult times. Anything new to say? No. Move along. But there's another one over here. So they're guarding the entrance and the exit. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty dark in here. I hope you can see enough. I'm playing with quite a bright screen. <clears throat> but maybe on YouTube. It might be a little more dark. But the lights are, th I Please think, your plenty enough. The Imperial Palace by keeping your voice down. Oh, shh. They heard me talk. He's going off. This door is not to be cracked open. We can't go in there. That must be the inner inner circle of the building. Oh, the guards are both walking now. All right, let's go right as well. A little bit blurry, but I recognize it. I like the lantern touch, very gothic style of the building wow that's a lot of guards how many guards is that seven remember trespassing in the imperial palace Holy is a shit. serious crime do not venture beyond the first and second floors yes sir oh, something i can help you with truthy no long live the empire wow don't start a fight in here so where are we going? There's a door. Wooden door to Elder Council Chambers. Alright, uh, let's head in, sure. The guard. Alright, that leads to some kind of church. All citizens are welcome in the Imperial Palace. At least on the first two floors. Imperial guard qu quarters are closed off. Remember, so let's not in the imperial go in there. These doors are opened already. What the hell is this? Somewhat of a ceiling. Like, uh, this looks like Rome. The one that Michelangelo painted. Can't remember the name. <laughs> Uh, we can sit here just for a moment to uh, suck in the beauty and the grandeur of this place, I guess. I'm not sure if it's faith uh, related, this building. It doesn't really look like um, a religion stuff. Wow, is that the council room? For those of you who played the Legacy of Cain series... It reminds me a bit of it. The, the architecture and the pillars. Conquest. It was a great game about Raziel and Kane vampires. I think it's almost 10 years ago now when the last game came out to that franchise. So you're guarding what? All citizens are. What seems to be the problem? Weird eyes you have. The Emperor is. Yeah, I shouldn't even ask anymore. Carry on. I like the color of the window, it makes it very cold looking. Um, I guess we could jump here, but um, we can't because we would die at this point. If I even can jump over it. So I'm not sure what I need to do here just now. So let's check out the other side. It would be interesting to um, meet the members of the Elder Council, though. Whoever they are. All visitors to the Imperial Palace are asked to keep their voices down. Especially if <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just blabbing on, huh? <laughs> Good day, shining armor. Look at that. So where does this lead to? Maybe the same setup? Yeah, pretty much. Also a guard in wait. Remember, trespassing in the Imperial Palace is a yeah. serious crime. The basement. Do not venture beyond the first and second floors. 
well that's that's it actually uh, only this uh, long long hallway and a weird room where you can see downstairs but can't come to uh, I guess whoa who the hell is that are you high chancellor Okado are you one of the council excuse me the empire doesn't run itself you know submit a complaint to the usual department and I'm sure someone will take care of it High Chancellor Okado, isn't that the Mages Guild dude? All visitors to the Imperial Palace are asked to keep their voices down. I've heard of him before. Remember, session. trespassing in the Imperial Palace is a serious Ancient crime. Holy shit! The Imperial Palace beyond the by first and second voice floors. Down. We can get in. We can actually get into the Elder Council room because this Chancellor Okado just left. I just was gonna say we're about to see it once we. Uh, Progress with the main quest, I assume, but I didn't expect this. <laughs> I wonder if that uh, is normal, like supposed to be, that we can go in here. Is this water or what? It's like a giant round table. How many chairs is that? 30. So Avocado must be uh, the leader now? Interim manager. Excuse me. The Empire. Hmm. Interesting. Well, at least we saw it. But we can do nothing here at this point. So let's leave. Rem All right. So we've checked out this district for now. The Imperial Palace and the Green Emperor Way. Now let's be on our way to... What must be the next district? I think I'm heading for the Talos Plaza district. I've been there already. Once we uh, followed Agramir. Or was it Thorinir? I think it was Thorinir. It's right over there, so that's good. And uh, try again to uh, continue the quest on friendly competition by breaking into Agramir's house. Hi! Adrian Decanus. What can I do for you? Haven't met you, I think. Or maybe I have. Be seen. What about you, woman? What are you standing there? It's you. My name is Elrigail. I look after Thamriel. Yeah, I've met you. And I've met her. You too. I guess a lot of people in town know... A few dead people that lay here. So yeah, like I said, I've been here before. Uh, this is where uh, um, the Umbacano Mansion is, among others. Uh, but I'm here for Agarmir. Now, last time I tried to get into his house, it actually worked. Uh, but then after like 20 seconds, I got arrested. And I did went to jail. Now my plan is this time to head in. Well, there's no guard around, and I can't see anyone now. Maybe there around the corner. Uh, but if I go to jail, then I think I will reload. Just to not to go through the hassle again of being arrested and going back to where I left off. Uh, and my strategy is because I really don't know how it works in Oblivion. Uh, if the guards don't see you, can you stay as long as you want? Uh, but I have the feeling that you have only like 30 seconds and you need to head out. So I'm just barging in, find the objective we need and just run out in the hopes that I won't be seen. Uh, let's highlight that quest. So I've discovered that Agamir has a house in Talos Plaza. I should go inside when he's not around and investigate. So it's active. And what I should... Okay, there's not really an objective. I just need to investigate. I think this is the house, but I'm wrong, apparently. Um, so where is it? On the other side. No. Over here? No. Ah, okay. 
just straight to that way and then right. Okay, there's already one guard patrolling. The timing might be good. 10 p.m. I'm not sure what Agarmir's schedule is again. I think he heads out at night and somewhere... Who are you? What the... <laughs> Didn't sound very good. Um, and somewhere during the afternoon. And he might be asleep at night time. But then again, he's conniving with Thornir at night. I guess that was his neighbor? Yeah. Oh, apparently he's at home. That's not a good time to uh, get into this house because I'm afraid it will end into a fight. So we could just wait standing in front of his door, but let's wait a few hours, let's say three or maybe midnight. I think he leaves at midnight at least. I'm not sure if he is left already. Or that he needs to leave still. Yeah, he's gone. All right. Um, so the problem is... Now I'm crouching. Okay, there's one guard. You can see him standing over there. He could definitely see me from there. Speak. He is patrolling, so I definitely should be out of his way. But that dude, though. Hail, good citizen. How can I be of service? Phew, tough. I can't actually tell if they're seeing. Or I can with the eye icon. I need to remember that. Can we just jump out of the way for a second? Uh, so I guess now I'm hidden because the eye is grayed out. But I. Cannot be sure. Let's test that out. Okay, he's gone actually. Okay, this is my this might be my chance. Let's just do our best to lockpick again. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Forget that. He's still at home. Alright, uh, I guess we'll wait a little longer then. Uh, let's wait until morning. Maybe he goes to work somewhere. Makes it more difficult to sneak in though. Oh, there he goes. Alright. Alright. The icon shows me that I'm now visible. Because of the guard, I assume. Yeah, so that's why I got arrested, I think. But what if we start off here by sneaking? Now I'm still visible. <laughs> Shit. Um, is it because it's during the day? Okay, now I'm invisible, but now that stupid guard comes. And there's another one. Not helping at all. Okay, I can't be seen right now, but I want him to turn around the corner. I wish there was a way to lure the other guard away. I'm still invisible at this point. Alright, he's turning around the corner. Let's try to sneak our way up there. I'm still invisible. Oh, I'm this is hard. How do we do this? We could also just... Um, as quickly as we can find the, uh, the point of investigation and let us be arrested but at least we can progress the quest because at this point I really don't know how we can elude him do we have any potion 
Oh wait, we have a potion of chameleon. Okay, I have to check this out. If it works, it will be grand. Let's see. I'm just saving. If it doesn't work, I might reload. Can we use it? Oh yes, we're invisible. I think. No, we're not. Or are we? Are we or are we not? <laughs> we're still visible. Alright, let's reload for a second because it might be because those guards saw me do it. Alright, back again. Alright. Let's wait for the guards. Again. It doesn't really say what it does. Chameleon 25. Oh, it's only 25%, so it might not be enough. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to barge in, investigate as fast as I can, and let myself be arrested. I think I can handle that. I think I'll pay. How much do I have? 99. Oh, there was a switch of the guard, I guess. Change of the guard. So no one is coming here again. Great. Well, you're moving along, sir. Thank you. So we're visible at this point. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't ruin it for me. Who is that again? Looks some kind of... Ah. Guess he's going to his home. Okay, so now we're invisible. Let's save up. Let's use that chameleon. Let's try to sneak. Maybe it is because I'm wearing loud armor. No, I'm, I'm visible. Definitely. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely not working. Uh, in that case, I'm going to reload... And I'm just going to break in and do plan B. First, we need to break in, though. All right, that worked. Now we need to be very quick. What to look for, what to look for. Desk, nothing in the desk. The basement might be locked. Something in the chest, not really. Let's get upstairs. More lock picking. Be quick, be quick. Uh, nothing in the drawers. Maybe we should follow the, uh, the quest icon. Because I have the feeling I'm about to be arrested. The barrels? Ah, shit, I think we have to be in the basement. I'm not sure how much time I do have. Another average lock. All right, we can do it. Or not. Come on. I hate this mini game. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Ah. Oh. I don't have the patience. If my skill uh, is going up, it's already average. No, it's not average, it's a lock level. Then uh, while it does, I'm using auto attempt a lot. Or I just need to use magic. Alright. Quickly. What's over here? All right, I found my way into Agamir's basement. The place consists of an odd assortment of clothing and trinkets. Most disturbing is the dirty shovel and mud-encrusted boots tucked into the corner and the bits of ground bone meal strewn about. I suspect Agamir's stock he sells to Thornir is taken from the recently dead. I should continue to search carefully for more solid evidence into this grisly accusation. Like I said before, I think 
uh, the mausoleum in the Green Emperor Way area is connected to this quest. There's also a book. I found a manifest that seems to detail names of the recently deceased, what they were buried with and their locations in Cyrodiil. I should take this mac macabre manifest and confront Thornir, as he may not realize where his merchandise is coming from. And as I was um, activating the book, I've heard the footsteps, so the guards are right behind me. And now I gotta wonder if this is a stolen book or a normal book, because I'm about to get arrested. And if the book is stolen, it gets confiscated, so I can't confront Thorner with it. But before we click on exit, let's read it. Recently deceased. Fertilis Vagarium Imperial City, Kilted Doublet, Green Silk Pants, Gold Trimmed Shoes, Gold Ring. Oh, there are grave robbers. That's why they get their items cheap. <laughs> They're stealing it from the, the, the cemetery. Gesir, Chaining Hall, all their stuff. Noder, Cloud Seeker from Bruma. They're doing it in different cities as well. Daria Withel Breville, Kayla Swinchel from Breville, there's Dandler from Leowin with all kinds of fine clothing, polished wood box with silver fittings, Holithanius, Oford Gamings and Anvil, till now I don't really know these people, I guess it doesn't matter, uh, let's take the book, okay it's not it's not stolen so thank god we can keep it now we just have to wait for the guards who are standing behind me in like five seconds i think it's all over lawbreaker your spree is at an end i'll take any stolen goods you have the next move is yours pay your fine or i'll haul you away yeah i'm very sorry is it five gold then i'll pay it I'm not going to jail again. Here's the procedure. We go to the castle. First we search you, confiscate any stolen goods. Then you pay your fine, and we release you. And there we go. At least we didn't serve any sentence. Uh, we just had to pay the fine. Now we're back here again. You have my the Imperial Jailers. And I think my infamy is gone as well, because we paid for it. The fine was very modest. I hope they don't inform Agarmir. I guess they should. Um, what am I looking for? Fame, infamy. 21 fame. No infamy at this point. No bounty as well. Because I'm the arena champion. Not the grand champion, but the champion. So, just to check to make sure, I have the book, Macabre Manifest, and we need to do what? I think it was very clear. Confront Thornir. Now, he's in the market district, so that's right across from here. So let's confront him. And the third option you have with the guards isn't going to help at all because if you fight you're almost always certain to lose because I think the guards spawn endlessly and they're always stronger in level than you are and if you manage to escape and you come back you will get attacked anyway again because of your infamy maybe there are some other ways to uh, in the thieves guild maybe to clear your name Thorn here. Spare a coin for the infirm. I need to speak to you. What time is it? 11.30 a.m. So he should be in his store. The copious coin purse. There he is. Welcome back. 
Yeah, about uh, that book. I can't believe what I'm seeing in this book. I'm mortified to think these things here were once on the bodies of the recently deceased. It's just too horrible to comprehend. I don't even know what to say. I, I guess an apology is not enough. What can I do? So he really didn't know. The one option I have, help me catch Agarmir. Yes, that's the least I can do. First and foremost, I will never meet with him again. I can promise you that. Secondly, I remember him mentioning a place he had to be this very day. Hmm, yes, that's right. He said that he wouldn't be able to do anything else, as he had something important to do. You don't think he would dig up another... Oh, no, he wouldn't. But I guess he has been. Oh, my. What have I done? Don't worry, I'll stop him. Yes, you do that. And in the meantime, I'll decide what to do with all these ill-gotten things. I'm so sorry. Hmm, he seems genuine. Um, let's ask him about rumors. If it's yellow, I, I have the feeling I should ask it. If you need light... Yeah. Um, we can ask him again. Taken from the dead. I hope everyone can forgive me for not doing a better job checking up on my sources. Probably. And what about your inventory? What will you sell after this? I don't even want to look at it for another moment. All right. I hope you can forgive me. I had no idea. All right, all right. I hope the others can forgive you. I don't really care. I just am in for the money. So after showing the macabre manifest of Thornier, he agreed to stop meeting Agarmir. He also told me that Agarmir said he had something important to do this very day. I think I need to check out the local graveyard, as the last name on the list was here in the Imperial City. I should return with one more piece of evidence of Agarmir's crime to confirm the manifest's contents. Do I still have that book on me? Because I know that's the, that's the mausoleum he's talking about, but... Selena Rotona, Imperial City. The name doesn't ring a bell, but still. I think it was something about a Trentius mausoleum. Anyway. How goes it, friend? Keeping the killers and cut purses at bay? I have a crime to report. Morning, sir. Truth. <laughs> we can't press him uh, on it. Carry on. Alright, uh, so this is where I leave the episode and um, stop for the moment. The next time we will find that Agamir and that Mausoleum. We'll probably end up in a fight and uh, wrap up the unfriendly competition quest and then new adventures await. Till then, 